Good morning and welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a fun day because we are taking delivery of yet another Corvette, another C6, just like Grandpa. So let's go meet up with Matt Beaver and see what's going on. First, we are going to uh, Whitmore Chevy, but uh, then we got to drive all the way to New Jersey. So I really, I shouldn't really take my McLaren to the asshole of the world. Sorry to everyone who lives there, but um, I'm going to do it anyway, because fuck it. To be honest, I'm trying to hit uh, 10,000 miles. No particular reason, I just want to do it. Right, at Whitmore Chevrolet and Ford, if you need a new Chevrolet Buick or Ford, check them out, they will help you out. The McLaren always freaks out with the parking sensors. Even if you're not moving anymore, it still wants to tell you that uh, you're not supposed to back up. Let's see where Beaver's at and uh, then I guess we'll hit the road. A lot of vets available on the lot. We got uh, some Grand Sports. I don't see a single Stingray, but we got some Grand Sports and uh, at least one Z06. And the ZR2 is still available. And uh, this truck is really sick. If you didn't see my review on it, check it out. My Demuro Speed 717 style review. But a uh, great little truck. I really liked it. It drove nice. I think it looks sick. Love the wide fenders. And uh, I would totally daily drive a ZR2. If I didn't already have so many vehicles, and if I needed, if I needed a truck, it would either be this or a new Raptor. And it would be close between which one I would want. Um, they both have their pros and cons. Did you hear that? I did. Calling for you, buddy. See? Tahoe RST and Suburban RST? Yeah, it's sick. Badass, right? It's the 6.2. I'm not sure if it makes the same power in the Corvette as it does in the Corvette, um, which would be 465 or 455. I kind of forget what the Stingrays. But um, either way, I mean, probably 450 horsepower Suburban. That would be sick. Now, if I had a family, you know, maybe someday, uh, that would be that would be a cool family hauler. RST looks really good though. Love the black accents, black around the light, black bow tie, and black grill, as opposed to like the chrome on a regular one. So it's all black, and then the wheels, black logos, black side steps. It's freaking gnarly. All I told him is that we're getting a car. I didn't say which one. Chad, what do you think it is? I don't know. What have I been looking at? You've been looking at Hummers, which is a, just obnoxious. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe a new vet. Corvette ZR1. Ooh. All right. Use that. Oh, Use that. Go to curb. I don't want to get in here. I almost exposed your plans, buddy, by the way, but I caught myself and I was like, I, I guess he doesn't want people to know, so I didn't expose you. No, 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 no. Don't when I walked that. in the dealership, I was like, uh, I'm ready to go to, uh, and then nobody knew what I was talking about. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, man, I'm excited for you. How much power do we think Steve's gonna put down with the twin turbo kit on the C5? I think 800. I'm gonna go 727. That's it? Yeah. Okay, all right. I, I, I mean, don't know. You know Steve, go, Steve sends it. Steve I know he does. Big. I know he does. But <laughs> see, build location, I think, is gonna be key. Yeah. There's, yeah. It's not a clean environment. <laughs> There's probably gonna be rocks <laughs> There's gonna be inside gravel. of whatever he's doing. There's gonna be doing. gravel in the turbo and exhaust. I just don't know. Maybe it'll do more. Maybe I'll be surprised. I'm fucking hyped to see it. That's for sure. I hope it does 850. I hope he runs eight banging gears. That would be awesome. Thing. That would be awesome. Real quick, I'm getting some snacks. Beaver's doing something. I don't know. Check this out. They got Reese's Chilled, which I love, by the way. I love, like, anything I eat, chocolate bar, Reese's, it goes in the fridge. And they got it chilled for you right here. That is sick. What should we get? Get a water. Something healthy? Nope, we're getting this. It's definitely lowered. Lowered. Definitely lowered. 
Oh, that's sweet. Oh. I'm pumped. Dude. Tinted. Hell yeah, buddy. Dude, I'm pumped right now. Oh, it's got the, yeah, you, it's got you the, black the same tail lights. Yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. shit. I'm pumped right now, dude. Ew, dude. My heart is pounding. That looks really nice. I'm not going to lie. That looks really good. Okay, I'm pumped. Sorry, I'm trying to. I know. It takes a while to oh, turn. Yeah. You got to flip the paddle. Oh, yeah, the just there he is. That must be the owner. It is. My coolant fans are on extremely loud. It's 90 something degrees. I've got the AC on. Listen, listen to those fans. Holy shit. They're not usually on, but uh, it's a hot one today. Mike, Mike as well. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice car. Thank you very much. What exactly is it? Uh, it is a McLaren 570S. Oh, McLaren. Bought it uh, not too far away from you in uh, McLaren Philly in Westchester. Wow. Really like this though, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was a good car. Like I said, I bought it. I bought it uh, in 2014. And my, me and my brother-in-law, he bought it uh, 78 Camaro. And we're, oh, we're going to go to car shows. We're going to car shows. Uh -huh. He kept the car for six months and sold it. And got rid of it? <laughs> and then I never... So I, you were I, the I, only one going to the car shows? Yeah, then. I went to the car show a couple times. And, and then that was it. It just basically sat in my driveway. I don't, I don't use it. I'm 59 and I just... Yeah. I'm older, dude. And I just don't... Cool. I metal detect like I told you. And yeah. Eat and sleep and metal detect. Yeah. That's metal. that's your hobby. You now you're retired. Yeah, you just get older. You just lose interest <laughs> and stuff. I got a nice. 27 foot of Bonnie back here with I saw that. I, I don't even sweet. use it. Ooh, love the uh, the white yeah, headlight the, the insert, which is really factory, oh, but okay. looks really yeah, cool in white. Yeah, you work at a dealership, like Grand yeah. Sport Stripes. Z06 yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, style yeah, wheels. The only issue with it, in chrome. It's only in the summertime. Definitely it's lower. Got to be lower for sure. So that's like a stock wheel and tire size, and the gap is like nothing. So he's he's a little bit lower than Grandpa for sure. But yeah, that looks like a really, really clean car. Man, Beaver's gonna love this. Yeah, good. The battery's about uh, six months old. Okay, cool. Oh uh, yeah. Here's the two keys. Perfect. Looks oh, pretty yeah, clean. Looks, looks pretty clean to me, dude. Looks real clean. Oh, yeah, it needs, a, like I said, it needs a, um, you guys work at a detail place over here. Yeah. There's a place you could detail and it'll look way, way better. LS2. Oh, he's got a, a Vera Ram. Yeah, That's a like the best intake they make for the yeah, LS2. Yeah, the guy I bought it. It's exactly the way you see it's the way I bought it. I didn't do anything to it. Vera Ram intake on there. Those are the best for LS2s. So everybody on the forum says. No, yeah, it was good. Ready for a full exhaust and a tune, dude. I am. Yeah, I was going to do all that stuff and then I never got around to it. Sometimes it's better not to. I've had a lot yeah, of cars. It's all, it's yeah. Like it's completely stock except for that and he lowered it. I like it. I really like the white. I think a white C6 looks great. The red accents too looks really cool. Thank, dude. Banner, I love it, dude. What do you think? I'm pumped. Super clear. I I'm love pumped. the white and the red. Like it's actually, I'm, I'm loving the look of this yeah, car. I absolutely I'm loving it. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same thing. Red seats because I was on the forum and I was you know about changing the seats to red. But man, I found the, the full interior, full red interior. Uh, everything, 2,200 bucks. It's like 40 pieces. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's on eBay right now. Yeah, yeah, I cruised down to Delaware in it. Chris got, I don't know, 25 miles a gallon. Yeah, you know, oh, you yeah. Get on it. And uh, if you want to get on it, you can. It moves. Nice. So it is an 05 with the four speed auto. And that's so Beaver's uh, wife can drive it. Really cool. Really nice. Here it is. Which way you going? 2005 C6 Vet. Like I said, the four speed auto. Really clean car. It's only got 47,000 miles on it. Um, of course, you know, 47,000 original miles, clean title, no accidents, real nice. I think Beaver's going to like it. I think I'm excited for him to finally have a sports car, and uh, we will definitely engage in some fuckery with this vehicle. Don't worry about that. Huh? Huh? What'd you say? I just, I, didn't, I said you were going to drive it like a grandpa the whole time. <laughs>
picture where this might be going because I got an LS2 vet as well and uh, I'm not gonna be needing things like the exhaust and the cam after I either blow it up or do whatever. So all of the old parts for grandpa may very well find their way onto his 05. By now you guys are definitely used to seeing me work on the grandpa vet. It has been a pretty cool project so far and we have done a lot to it. It's come a long, he's come a long way. Grandpa has come a long way in the short like month that I have owned him. But what if we were to change things up a little bit and work on the McLaren? What if we were to install some new mods on that car? Now for me, I love the spool down noise that the McLaren makes. It kind of sounds like, um, you know, almost like my truck kind of, and I love that noise. Not even gonna embarrass myself and try to make the noise, but I love the way that sounds. But some people like the blow off noise of a vent to atmosphere blow off valve. Ice Tech actually makes a really easy bolt on kit, a vent to atmosphere blow off valve for these 570s. And uh, you know, I'm not sure if that's the exact name, but that's what it does. So I wouldn't install one myself because I like the way it sounds now. But he is all about that blow off noise. I don't know because he's a he had a GTR before. He's that kind of guy. I don't know, um, but he wants some for his 570. And uh, he is the guy. John is the guy with the uh, orange, the McLaren orange, so the uh, brighter orange 570 Spider. He called me up and he said, "Hey, I'm sending out my ECU to get tuned. I know that you already did that. Can you help me take it apart? And can you also help me install the blow off valves while the car is, you know, already kind of taken apart?" And uh, I said, sure, let's do it. I'm over here at John's house. We're about to uh, take apart his McLaren and ship out his ECU to DME so you can tune his car. Uh, he was very impressed with how my car runs. Don't blame him. And the install is pretty easy to take the ECU out. All right, it's gonna get loud. So loud. But uh, the jack doesn't fit far enough underneath the car. That's right, we're using a rock, folks. This is uh, at home wrenching at its finest here. Backwoods. Dude, you're it's up suburbia. You're up on a fucking landscaping rock right now, buddy. But McLaren is nice, and they actually label the jack points for you with a little green circle. So that's pretty cool. Now when you've taken your wheel off and you're drinking your uh, whatever the fuck that is, you wanna take your Take your T10 and unscrew all of these, which there are quite a few. Um, I don't even know how many there are, but there's at least one, two, three, four, five. There's like seven on the top around the wheel well. So we take the whole, both sides off. Yep, you're gonna, we're gonna take this whole thing out. Okay. And then once that's done, it's pretty much straightforward. Oh, well, there you go, he's doing it for me. Look at that. Oh, my car. True, true. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty easy. Look, McLaren uses I-Box springs. All the screws out, and then take out that liner. Oh, wait till you see all the rocks and stuff. If it's anything it. like my car, yeah, it's awesome. You gotta, it's, yeah, it takes a little bit of like work and finesse it a little bit, but it'll come out. And don't be afraid to like kind of fold it because it will bounce back. There you go. Oh, we missed one. There's one, dude. See, I told there's you, there's one. always one, man. Always one. Well, actually, that makes sense because it's on my bad eyesight right now, so that's my excuse. <laughs> so, John, how do you feel about taking apart, you already mentioned this, but taking apart your brand oh, new $240,000 car? It's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Oh, this is actually pretty awesome. Just like that, everything opened up. Yeah, look at the rocks right there on the... Controller. Like how does that happen? Just a massive pile of stones. Like, I have a freaking rock collection now. What's impressive to me about McLaren is that uh, they use really beefy axles. If you look at them, like those are not going to break. Those don't scare me at all. And there's your turbos. Oh, well, we could do a turbo software. Here's your uh, sport cats. Yeah. Well, I might as well just order those too, man. Yeah, you might as well do the pure turbos. <laughs> might as well, buddy. Yeah. So if somebody quotes you like ten grand for labor to do this bullshit, now you know. Well, we might as well just open up our own shop. <laughs> Customers will see that we do, in fact, use uh, rocks to help get the cars up in the air, which is great. <laughs> if they weren't assured by the professional setup, they'll definitely be assured by the rock. So there you can see your ECU up there. It's four battery? bolts. It's four bolts. I didn't, but people said you should. 
my car was fine, but I don't know. Do that at your own risk. Now, there's four bolts. I believe they're 10 millimeter. Yeah, where's the battery um, for the car? That we have to get to. The battery's in the frunk. Frunk. Yep. What's this? It's in your frunk compartment. And the battery for your 570S is located in the front. I hope you guys are enjoying this 717 tutorial, by the way. But there's your 570S battery up in there in its own little compartment. And uh, once you do disconnect that, to be safe, you got four slightly smaller torque screws that hold in the ECU. One here, here, back here, and right up there. And the one back here is hard to get to. But uh, once those screws are out, then it will be really easy be really easy to disconnect and then you just disconnect the wiring harness. But um, I mean, the whole thing takes about literally 20 minutes. Now out, and that's it folks. Once you have the bolts out, you take out the plugs, which is operated by this little like pull tab thing here. Literally just push that up. British car, Easy. the ECU is made in Hungary. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And there you go. There's a little uh, Mike and John tutorial on how to remove the ECU in your 570S. Stay tuned next week to see what we do now. <laughs> uh, ECU's back, back in. ECU back in. See, Steve, you can work on the Corvettes. I can work on the McLarens. I, I got that gotta, ECU in in five minutes. I just got to look around. I think we can handle it. I think we can too. There's nothing I can't handle. Oh, no, I know. I know we can. Show them the underbelly of this. So, I think the world is yeah, the world, No, the world knows it's flat. No, the world does not know. Steve's like, oh, we can jack it up from the back. I'm like, uh, no, you can't because they're all flat down here. Dude, that's we all float down here. That's sick. No wonder yeah. they do the top speed that they do. If you guys saw part one, we took the ECU out, which is a relatively easy process. And now we're putting it back in. But John is also doing something a little bit different, buddy. What are you doing? So Weiss Tech has graciously helped me get some blow off valves to make this car sound a little bit more ricer, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> well, see, I like the spool down noise, but you want to make the No, psh. I love the blow off sound of yeah. the turbo car. He wants the psh. Yeah, I want that sound. I know Weiss Tech has it for AMG. Apparently they just released it for McLaren. So we're gonna see how it sounds. All right, and you can, I mean, it's pretty easy to access the turbos, believe it or not. So literally, you see the blow-off valve is right there. Right there. I mean, while we have this out, we might as well just pull the yeah. turbos off. It's, so. <laughs> it makes sense. Should be fun. I'm game. We're doing all kinds of home installs nowadays on yeah. the channel. My channel has changed drastically yeah. overnight. with Wise Tech blow off valves. Oh yeah, you can hear that whooshing noise. <laughs> That's way different, dude. It's so awesome. No performance gain on it, just sound No, no performance, but I like it. I like it. Steve said a fucking good deal. I'm not doing that, no. Nope. <laughs>